Hey everybody, this is Brad from Johnson Small Engines, better known as a one-handed mechanic. If I can do it, you can too. Today I'm working on a Husqvarna YTH18542, and I want to show you how to start and operate it. First thing you want to do is, whenever you get a machine in your possession, just check the oil. This is an 18 and a half horsepower Brakes and Stratton engine. Very easy to check the oil. The oil dipstick is here. You're going to pull this out. You have a little bar graph that's right there. Now we just changed the oil, so it just goes between the two dots right there. And you're just going to go ahead and stick it in, pull it back out, and it's it's right on the mark as we speak. So that's right where it should be. It's really hard to see on the video, but just make sure you check the oil. You know, wipe it off, check it at least two times before you actually run your machine. The last thing you want to do is run your machine without oil in it. Okay, now the 18 and a half horsepower Briggs is in the model number here we have it says yth 18542 that means this is an 18 and a half horsepower 42 inch cut so it has a 42 inch cut blade uh, mower deck on it and we'll walk around the machine from this side over we have pedals for forward and reverse so you have your forward pedal here and your reverse pedal here pretty much when you use your foot pedal and you go forward and you let go that brings it back to neutral instead of using your brake you can just basically let go of your pedal and if you're on a hill, that's going to be a little bit challenging, and you may need the emergency brake, which is on the other side. Uh, this is your power takeoff, which means this is what engages your mower deck on and off. I have people who have run out of gas, and the mower deck was on, and they go ahead and put gas in it because the engine shuts off. They go ahead and start it again, and it won't start because your mower deck lever is left in the on position. Remember to leave, make sure the mower deck lever is off, and sometimes... These, this spring load tension here will move the lever forward just a little bit and because the spring tension gets loose and it won't start because there is a safety switch on this lever. So this lever has to be in the off position for this tractor to actually start. There's ignition switch here. You have stop. This is your reverse lockout, which we'll go over in a minute. This is a very nice feature. Then you have your on. After you turn it to crank, it'll be in the on position. And this is right here is for crank to crank it up. You have uh, your seat here. If you want to adjust your seat, you can adjust your seat by this lever right here. So all you have to do is, while you're sitting on it, you just have to pull this up and just move forward and backward. And once you once you let it go, then you can lock it in like that, okay? Lift up the seat. We have your battery here. And this looks like it is probably the original battery. A lot of times the, the cranking amp on these batteries are a little bit on the low side. I like a 300 cold cranking amp battery. This one actually says 230 cold cranking amps which is uh, not bad at all. That's uh, not too bad for this tractor for an 18 horse horsepower single. So they beefed them up a little bit, but just be prepared to uh, service these, probably take them out and replace them every three years on these, just because of the fact they don't last as long as a better tractor battery that you would get from like, you know, at a Home Depot or Lowe's. Just be careful when buying them. Try to go with a uh, 275 to 300 cold cranking amp battery when you do need to purchase another one. And as far as the uh, model number since we're back here, this is the model number of the machine. It's a YTH18542. And the product number, they use the product number a lot of times to order parts. So you may need this, you're probably gonna need this product number to order parts for this machine. And everything you need is on this sticker, okay? Come around to this side here. This is the up and down lever for the mower deck here. Okay, and you just have different settings. I'm not real fond of the settings being so far apart. It is a pretty, uh, it's a pretty big distance between, it's like an inch for your gap. As far as the, the brake, the emergency brake is here. I'm gonna go ahead and get on. So you have the emergency brake here, okay? That is basically, you don't need that unless you're one, getting off the tractor or you're on hills. It basically will disconnect the hydro and it'll also put the brake on for you. Now the parking brake lever is here. So when you do want to engage the parking brake, you put it all the way down as far as it'll go pull up this lever and lock it in okay now uh, the seat is really far back for me so i'm going to move the seat up now you got to make sure that that pedal is all the way down and then pull up the parking lever and then let go of the parking lever so with the parking brake locked in you want to unlock it by pushing your foot down on the parking brake this usually comes down sometimes you have to use your fingertip and just push that down it'll unlock it then you'll be able to go if you have your parking brake on you should not be able to use your pedals they're not going to move the hydro because with the parking brake on it releases your hydro while the parking brake is on so you don't accidentally try to run against the parking brake with the hydro this is a throttle here okay and it, basically it's turtle for slow rabbit it has a little indentation right up top here that stops it in it, it'll stop it from going forward that indentation is fast 
when you're cutting the grass you should be up into the fast position because that's how the engine cools itself the best and that's how it operates the best you can also just regulate your speed your ground speed by your pedals okay and when you start it all the way up on choke as soon as it starts up you're going to bring it down off a choke i usually bring it down to an idle or half half throttle to warm it up a little bit and then when we're ready to cut we're going to take the emergency brake off we're going to go ahead and engage the mower deck handle and then we're going to go ahead and forward and backward for the pedals okay so right above the throttle is your headlights and these will use just a switch so on and off and let's just see i'm not sure if the key needs to be on to have these work okay the lights are off right now and the headlights are on so you have to have your tractor running so we'll go ahead and fire it up and see if they work The good news is about the headlights is you cannot drain your battery. I like this feature also. If you have the headlights on, it'll only run. The headlights only run with the tractor running. That's a good thing. You can't drain your battery. A lot of the tractors, you can turn the headlights on and you'll drain your battery if you forget the headlights are on. So that's a nice feature. I'm going to go ahead and show you all that. And then I have um, how to show you how to cut in reverse because you cannot cut in reverse unless you do this one specific thing. All right, so the, the brake is on. I have it set at throttle at the choke. We're going to go ahead and start it up and I'm going to bring it down off the choke. Uh, you have it set at about, you know, idle almost. Just let it warm up a little bit. We're going to go ahead and rev it up a little bit, and then I'm going to engage the blade. I'm actually going to put the mower deck down a couple notches. Engage the blade. So I just want to show you this because you may not have been able to hear me but when your key is in the crank position when it's on I'm going to crank it up now it's in the on position okay when you want to cut and reverse all you have to do is turn this key back one notch it won't shut the machine off but you can see with the arrow it allows you to back up while you're cutting okay that's a super nice feature and in fact Cub Cadet actually has something similar to that and John Deere has a button that you must push every time you go in reverse. So that that actually, that could be a, a, a game changer for me. I really like the fact that if you leave it in the reverse lockout position, you're gonna leave it like that until you're done cutting your grass and you will always be able to cut in reverse. That's a, a very nice feature. And then you just turn it off when you're done, make sure your mower deck is off and pretty much lock your brake on to get off the tractor. I do yeah. wanna show you one more thing. A lot of people miss this. If you ever need to push your tractor, you do not wanna push this tractor like this when it's engaged the transmission is engaged you can actually hurt it so there's a little diagram right here and it shows the guy pushing the tractor right here and they're showing this arm out which is this lever right here so when you want to push it easily you're going to push this or well, you're going to pull this all the way out okay so it locks out so that's out about five to six inches right there now you're in the unlocked position and as long as your emergency brake is off you should be able to push this easily just like that you don't want to push this tractor with this in the engaged position because if you do there is a chance you can hurt the transmission that's why they have that lever there it's only there to help you push the tractor if you run out of gas or if something happens in the machine you have to push it pull that lever out just make sure your emergency brake is off remember to push this in all the way before you you use the machine because i had a lot of people where they push on the pedal and it won't go anywhere and it's because this lever was left in the out position from pushing it earlier Okay, so that pretty much sums it up for how to operate a Husqvarna YTH18542 with a 42-inch mower deck. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe, tell your friends about my channel, and I will catch you on the next one.